Hey, little kitty, you look in discomfort. Are you holding your pee again? Well, don't make this a habit, kitty. Holding pee can make you go kaboom. To know that, let me answer a long-awaited question. What if you hold your urine for too long? Zoom in. There comes a time when there is an urgent need to pee. But you didn't want to interrupt what you were doing. Maybe you were playing a game, watching a movie or hanging out with friends. Well, it's okay to hold your pee once in a while. But if you have developed this into a habit, then it's better to get rid of it before it's too late. Why? Before we know that, first let us see how the urinary system works. You see, when you drink water or juice, your body digests and absorbs the nutrients it needs for energy and growth. And the rest is sent to the kidneys for filtration. The kidneys filter the waste products, excess water and other substances from the blood to produce urine that contains water, salts and other waste products that your body needs to get rid of. After urine is produced, it travels from the kidneys through two tubes called ureters and collects in the bladder, which is like a big balloon that gets bigger and bigger as it fills up. And once about 150 to 200 milliliters of urine have accumulated, the bladder's muscular walls are stretched enough to send a signal to the brain that it's time to go to the bathroom. In normal circumstances, your bladder pushes the pee out through a tube called the urethra and it goes out of your body. But if you hold it enough, say about 400 to 500 ml, then the pressure becomes too much to handle as you start to feel really uncomfortable. And if you make the mistake of holding the urine beyond the level of 1000 milliliters, your bladder might even burst. Fortunately, your body got you covered and most people will lose bladder control before it bursts. However, in very, very rare cases where a person is unable to feel or recognize the sensation of a full bladder, the bladder can actually rupture, a serious condition that requires surgical intervention to repair the damage. Though such a bursting event is very rare, and it's unlikely to happen. However, there are other serious outcomes of holding your pee for too long. Like a full bladder serves as a perfect breeding ground for many harmful bacteria that cause urinary tract infections or UTIs. Besides, holding your pee for too long, your bladder may get stretched for a long time and not be able to contract back to its original size easily. This can cause the bladder to not empty completely, which can be uncomfortable and painful. Not only that, the excess urine can flow back into the kidneys, resulting in infection or even kidney damage. So next time you feel the urge to pee, don't be afraid to take a break and go to the bathroom. Your body will thank you for it. And if you're ever in a situation where you can't go to the bathroom right away, like on a road trip, try to take breaks every couple of hours to stretch your legs and give your bladder a chance to rest. It's trivia time! Did you know the color of urine can tell you a lot about your health? Yes, clear or light yellow urine generally indicates that you are well hydrated, while dark yellow or amber colored urine may mean that you need to drink more water. To know more, check out this urinary system video. It's catching time! Today the sketch of the day goes to 
विश्रुत करनाथ होप यू लर्न समथिंग वाइटल टूडे आंटिल नेक्स्ट टाइम इट्स मी डॉक्टर बाइनॉक्स जूमिंग आउट Never mind